let's dive right into baseball. Right? Yeah. Baseball, yeah. baseball. You know, I chatted with the legend Derek Jeter, with the legend Derek Jeter, about his stay here in Miami. You know, if you didn't know, he's the owner and CEO of the Miami Marlins. You know, the team is finally headed in the right Miami. direction, talking to us Latinx. And I spent some time with him last week as he was unveiling their new logo and look. They're finally on to something, guys. Check it out. Finally. All right, so we're here with Derek Jeter. All right, Derek, you know, uh, thank you so much, first off. For Thanks for having being me, here. man. Yes, absolutely. All right, so uh, one year in Miami, and we're already seeing a rebranding of the Marlins, and it's, it's almost geared towards Latinos, Latinx. We spent this past year listening to what they like, what they don't like, what they would keep, what they would change. We were teasing, you know, some different things. I, I think they've been a part of this process, even though at times they didn't know it. Right, So right. we took and gathered all that information and what we've learned about Miami, and came up with our logo, so we're pretty excited and I, about and it. And I love it because you are uh, incorporating the culture, you know, you're calling it colores and, and instead of color. I'm speaking Spanish, yeah. right? Uh, and then also one of the colors is caliente rojo, isn't it? Yeah, right? yeah, no So question. how important was that to you? It, well, I mean, this is our fan base, right? right this right. is what Miami is, and, and we have to celebrate the diversity here in Miami, and, and one thing is what we try to do is we try to capture the energy which is very difficult to do, try to yeah. capture the energy of Miami, but I think we're extremely excited about it, and uh, I think our fans are too. Now, now I, uh, hold on, but let me, let me mention one thing. It uh, seems a little jittery right now. <laughs> it's because of all the coffee. I'm coffee for the first sweating. time. I'm kind of sweating. I didn't want to so, say yeah, anything. Sure bring that up. <laughs> I'm a professional. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, but we had our, our like you saw, our coladas, <laughs> which is like a jacked up coffee, Yeah. and uh, I'm seeing like seven Derek Jeter's right yeah, now. I'm trying, I'm trying to focus, Co and you're making me lose my focus. Stronger down no, don't here, do Miami. that to me. Don't do that to me. No, no. Um, all right, all right. I heard that you're actually taking some Spanish classes. I am. You know, I, I, it's one thing that I said uh, when we took over the organization. I think when you have Latin American or Hispanic players come to the United States, everyone just assumes that they speak English, yeah. and they almost expect them to speak English. So what I've done is we've implemented in my mind, which is going to be the best educational program in sports, and, and we're making sure that our Hispanic players learn English, but at the same time, our English-speaking players learn Spanish. I love that. I love and on that. top of that, I'm doing it in the front office as well. So give me a little time. Next time, we'll do it in Spanish. Perfect. So, uh, you know, one child, another one on the way. How has fatherhood changed you? And everyone says, wait until you have your own kids. Um, but it, it's pretty special. It's regardless of what happens throughout the course of the day, when you actually get there and, you, and your, your child smiles and runs up to you, it just doesn't make a difference if you had a good day, bad day. Uh, it warms your heart. So it's, it's something that uh, I, I'm extremely proud of the fact that, you know, we have a young, vibrant, energetic <laughs> daughter and then we have another child on the way. That's awesome. That's really good to hear. All right, Derek, since you are taking those Spanish classes, then so far, so far, what's your favorite Spanish word? Yeah. Mantequilla. <laughs> mantequilla. It comes in handy. It comes in handy. I, I like do how it love. Sounds. Ah, you like how it sounds. I do love mantequilla though. But yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a see, good yeah. one. You never thought I was going to say that, I right? I did not expect mantequilla <laughs> from Derek Jeter. That was pretty dope. Ah, oh, that's good. Now, now I'm never going to be able to hear that word again. I'm never going to be able to hear that word again. Hi, this is Derek Jeter, and you are watching Latinx now. All right, guys, all right. As if that interview wasn't enough, when I got home, guess what was waiting oh for Oh, my me? God. Take a look right here. <gasps> my very what? own Miami Marlins jersey. My jelly but look, Why look. Why did I do that to With him? my Derek. last name on the back. What? Is that not incredible? Your own. Can we zoom in yes, to my jelly my face? Yes, my own. Oh. Guys, I signed with the Marlins. I'm leaving the show. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Are you guys that jealous? Why did I oh do that to him? Goodness. I know, I know. Thank you so much, Derek Jeter. Thank you so much, Miami Marlins. Seriously, that was incredible. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm so cool now. Yeah, that was you a really are. good interview. Yes. Not for nothing, the mantequilla part was hilarious. Like, right? I would have never expected mantequilla. Yeah. What's your favorite Spanish word? I think mariposa. Mariposa. Oh. Butterfly. You know what's funny? It's butterfly, mantequilla, or la hora. <laughs> Man <laughs> butter? <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, you know what? Next up, let's change Sorry. this case quick. Sorry. Sorry. Next up, we have... Okay. This is Latinx now. And if you liked what you saw, hey, subscribe. You know the button, so where? click yeah, it. Yeah, the one where? Right here. It's right where? here. It's right here. Oh, maybe. Or maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs>